to worship God for all his doings in our life. This is another day in the presence of the God of Israel. Let's magnify his name. Let's worship him. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. He's a wonderful God. He's an, he's an, an excellent God. He's a perfect God. He's a righteous God. He's a God that can do no wrong. He's a God in whom there is neither variableness nor shadow of turning. Let's worship him tonight. Let's appreciate him. Let's glorify his name. Father, we are grateful. We bless your name tonight. Thank you for bringing us into your glorious presence again tonight. Thank you because in your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. We bless your name again tonight, Lord God Jehovah. Thank you for the opportunity to be at your presence. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We praise your name, Lord. The high and the lofty one that dwells in eternity. The wonder walking God. The loving and the caring God. The mighty God that dwells in all eternity. We worship you tonight, Lord God Jehovah. <coughs> we bless your name. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on the earth <coughs> as it is done in heaven. We worship you tonight, Lord God Jehovah. Thank you for what you are up to do in the affairs of our life. Let's begin to worship God for this month of September. It is the month of new things. New things will spring out of our life. New spring will spring out of our life. New spring will spring out of our life. New spring will spring out of our life. Lord, we thank you for this month of September. It's our month of new things. Lord, new things will spring out of our life. We worship you, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord. We exalt your name, Lord. We exalt your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We appreciate you, Lord God Jehovah. Blessed be your name, Lord. Be exalted, Lord. Let's begin to invite the presence of the Holy Spirit into our midst tonight. Let's ask the Holy Ghost to come down and tabernacle with us tonight. Let's ask the Holy Ghost to come and do new things in our life tonight. Blessed Holy Spirit, we welcome you into our midst tonight. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and do new things in our, in our life tonight. Come and do that which only God alone can do in our life tonight. Come, blessed Holy Spirit. We submit to you. We surrender to you. We add that you will come. And you will, you will do new things in our life tonight. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come, blessed Holy Spirit. Take your place in the midst of us tonight. Take your place in the midst of us tonight. Take your place in the midst of us tonight. Take your place in the midst of us tonight. Take your place in the midst of us tonight. Take your place in the midst of us tonight. Come, Spirit of the living God. Rule and reign in the midst of us tonight. Take charge and take control. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship. Spirit of the living God, we worship you. For your presence is here. Lord God, you are our Father, which art in heaven, we adore you. We magnify your name. We bow before your majesty. You are in our midst, Lord God, Jehovah. We adore you forever and ever. There is none that is like unto you. You are the perfect God and the glorious God. The sovereign and the mighty God. We worship your everlasting Father. Jesus Christ, we adore you. The Son of the living God. Our soon coming King. Our Redeemer from the cause of the law. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of the everlasting covenant. We worship you tonight. Thank you for coming to the midst of us. Thou the blessed Trinity. Tabernacle among us tonight. Come and dispel darkness. Come and shatter the reign of evil. Take charge in the midst of us tonight. All my viewers across the nations of the world, bless them mightily tonight. Bless us, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We acknowledge your presence. We submit to you. I hide under the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ that thou the Lord God Jehovah be seen in this meeting tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, blow me as your trumpet tonight. As I speak, 
Confirm my word by signs and miracles and by wonders. Do that which only you alone can do in the life and in the midst of your people tonight. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Welcome tonight to new things. I welcome all our viewers and every person under the sound of my voice tonight to your encounter with new things. Supernatural encounter with new things. I want to celebrate God on account of your lives. I am so sure that God will not pass you by tonight. God will not miss you in the crowd tonight. He will locate you in the midst of the crowd. And God will do that which only he alone can do in, the midst, in, in your life tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are new things? That is the subject of our consideration tonight. Don't forget, it is the month of September. Our month of new things. The month of September, our month of new things. Our text this month is Revelation 21.5. He that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Revelation 21 verse 5. He that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. So God is making all things new in your life tonight. Isaiah 43 verses 18 and 19. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So remember you know the former things. Neither consider the things of old. God said, Behold, I do a new thing. God specializes in doing new things. God specializes in doing new things. And God is going to do new things in your life in this month of September. New things. What are new things? New things are better things. Things that are better than the present. Things that are better than what you are seeing. Things that are better than what you are experiencing. Things that are better than what you are passing through. Those are new things. What are new things? Things that are strange. That have never happened before. Things that have no antecedent and precedence. Things that we can say it has happened like that yesterday. It has happened last year. No matter the peak of the success and the accomplishment you have, you have seen in the years past of your life, God is doing new things in your life right now. In this month of September, better than all the experiences that you have had before. Better than all the encounters you have had before. In this month of September, God is doing a new thing. I want to read two scriptures. I use these two scriptures to explain, to give you the first explanation of new things tonight. And then I will come to build upon it on Sunday. I want your faith to hold on to these sharings. Because what you hear is what you believe. What you believe is what you become. In life, in the agenda of God, it is what you believe that is performed for you. Luke chapter 1 verse 45. Blessed is she that believeth. For there shall be a performance of those things that were spoken to him to have by the Lord. So what you believe is what is performed for you. So believe in these realities I'm sharing together with you. As you hold on to them from the depth of your heart, God begins to perform them in your life. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What are new things? Numbers chapter 16, verse 30. I want to read two texts majorly. Two texts majorly. And then use them to explain these new things that I am confident that will be your experience and your reality in this month of September. Numbers 16, 30. But if God, but if the Lord make a new thing, and the earth open her mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them and they go down quick into the pit then ye shall understand that this man has provoked the Lord if the Lord make a new thing and the heart open their mouth and swallow them up with all that appertain unto them. And they go down quick into the pit. Then ye shall understand that these men have provoked the Lord. What are new things? From that Numbers chapter 16. Moses was asking God to do a new thing. And what was the new thing that Moses was asking God to do? Moses was asking God to fight for him with unconventional weapons. Moses was asking God to defend him and fight for him before his enemies. Before Korah, Data, and Abiram, Moses was asking God to fight for him with weapons that are not conventional. He said, if the Lord will do a new thing, in other words, what has not happened before? That without any ammunition, the ground open up. And these people be swallowed under the ground and the ground close up against them. Then the whole world will know that this has never happened before. That in reality they have provoked the Lord and sinned against him. And that was what happened. God did it. A new thing. A new thing is God arising to fight for a man with weapons that are not conventional a new thing is that when the law decide to defend a man with methods and formulas that are not common a new thing is an experience we are God fight without the weapons that are usual and normal and common. That will make men to be amazed and be dazed. That will make men to know that yes, God rule it in the affairs of men. You know why? I am saying this because that woman listen, looking at me right now that man watching me right now that brother that sister you have been facing battles persistently in the past months and years as you are hearing me now before the end of this month of september in ways beyond your imagination god will arise and fight for you god is determined to fight your battles for you with weapons that are not conventional. God is determined to arise and contend with them that contend with you and come through the ways which your enemies did not know. 
and come by the pathways which are hidden to your enemies. That is a new thing. That's what God wants to do. God in scriptures have been fighting for his children with unconventional weapons. In Joshua chapter 10, verses 10 to 14, we read of God arising on behalf of Joshua to fight against the five nations that rose up against Israel at that time. Five nations. And we were told that the Lord stayed the sun in the galaxies for 24 hours. The, in answer to the prayer of in answer to the prayer of Joshua, the sun stood still and the moon stayed in the valley of Ajalon for 24 hours. And what was God doing? God was casting hailstones from heaven upon the enemies and they were crushed before the Lord. Hailstone, hailstone as big as a city will descend from heaven and will fall down upon people in their tabernacle and crush them and grind them to ashes. Now, Joshua did not need to carry a gun. God, Joshua did not need to carry an ammunition. God, Joshua did not need to shoot an arrow. God was fighting. And God released one of his ammunition from heaven. Hail stone from heaven. Were descending into the camp of the enemy. And crushing them to ashes. It has never happened in human history. That is... Weapons that are not conventional is a new thing. Now we were told in the days of Jehoshaphat that God fought for Israel. This time around it was not his stone. Israel was just clapping their hands and singing. And then three nations gathered together against Israel in the days of Jehoshaphat. And as Israel began to sing and begin to worship God, God turned the three nations against themselves. And they were fighting against themselves. Jehoshaphat did not need to lift up an ammunition. Hail stone did not fall from heaven. Thunder did not strike. But the three nations, Moab, Ammon, and Mosiah that gathered together against, against Israel. They turned against themselves and began to shoot themselves until all of them died. Israel woke up in the morning and they came to the valley of Baraka and they said, saw all their enemies dead like grain of sand upon the earth. It was unconventional. God fought for Israel with weapons that were not conventional. Listen to me. God wants to do a new thing in fighting your battle this month of September. God wants to use new methods, new formulas, new weapons, methods that were strange to you, formulas that were uncommon. Methods that have not happened in human history. Formula that have not happened since creation. Ah, I pity those that are fighting against you. I pity those that are contending against you. I pity those that are seeking your downfall. I pity those people who thought your end has come. I pity those people who said there is no way of escape for you. I pity those that are rejoicing now, thinking that they have seen your end. I pity them because God is coming on your behalf with weapons that are not usual, with weapons that are not conventional to fight for you this month of September. Moses said, if God will do a new thing, if God will use a new method to fight for me, if God will use a new formula to fight for me, and honestly, I make God in God to announce to you 
that that's what God is going to do for you this month of September. God discovered that the battle has been too short for you. The battle has been too tough for you. You have fought the battle, it looks as if you are losing. You have fought the battle, it looks as if you have no strength. You have come to your wit's end. You have come to the end of yourself. You have done all you could have done to no avail. God says, step aside. I am stepping in for you this month of September. Every of such stubborn, terrible battles. God is saying, step aside. I am stepping in. God is saying, move to one direction. I am entering on your behalf. Hey! Bible says, let God arise. And let his enemies be scattered. Let those that, that rise up against the Lord flee before him. I congratulate you as you are hearing me tonight. I have prayed for you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And God has answered my prayers concerning you. And then come to the battles of your life this month of, this month of September. Because God will fight for you where you least expected. God will fight for you with arrows you had never known before. God will fight for you in ways you, you never dreamt of at all. God will come from the rear behind and shoot your enemies from the rear. And the enemy will not know how to defend himself. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is what God is going to do for you. The way God did a new thing and used a new method, a new formula. To fight for Moses against Korah, Data, and Abiram, and the 250 elders of Israel. That is the same thing God's going to do for you this month of September. Don't bother about those that are clustering against you, those that are holding meetings against you, those that are forming conspiracy and confederacy against you, those that are talking evil against you behind you, those that are talking. Those that are insinuating hatred and bitterness and rejection against you. It is not you they are plotting against. It is your God. And your God shall arise on your behalf. Your God. Now, they have been, ask, they have been asking you. They have been mocking you. They have been saying negative words against you. Listen to me. The Lord says, I shall announce to you this month of September. All your enemies, he will answer them. In this month of September... You will not need to defend yourself. Uh, you will not need... Leave those people that are, that are saying negative words against you. Leave those people that are plotting and planning against you. Leave those people that are forming conspiracy and confederacy against you. I stand as God's servant. I stand as the mouthpiece of the Almighty God. I stand in the room of Moses. Moses said, if God will do a new thing on your behalf, this month of, this month of September, to fight for you, God will do a new thing. God will silence them permanently. God will put them in perpetual reproach and disgrace. They will see humiliation and disgrace to their generations. Because the way God did it for Moses, before Korah, Dat, and Abraham, they were plotting against Moses. Moses was not there. Just as they have been plotting against you, speaking wounds against you, and you are not aware, planning and plotting. Castigating you, saying every man that don't bother, it is not you, it is your God, and your God shall answer. You are coming out of that shame in this month of September. You are coming out of that humiliation. You are coming out of that reproach and that disgrace in this month of September. God will use some conventional weapons. God will use weapons that are not familiar. God will use weapons that are not known. God will use weapons that have never been heard of in human history. He will use them to fight for you in this month of September. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And listen to me. In the case of Jehoshaphat, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, Jehoshaphat and Judah, they didn't fight, but they won. They woke up in the morning. And went outside and see the corpses of their enemies and they didn't carry a gun listen to me i speak by the word of the lord as you are watching me now i know your enemies are stubborn i know your battles are tough they watch me as i'm saying now i speak prophetically as a man of god in this month of september 
you will begin to win battles without fighting. You will just wake up to begin to see the corpses of your enemies. You will win battles without fighting. You will win battles without fighting. And God will not fight in ways that are common. God will fight in ways that are beyond human reasoning and imagination. In the mighty name of Let's read the second scripture. What are new things? What are new things? Go with me to Jeremiah. What are new things? Jeremiah chapter 18. I will close with this second scripture. And then I will continue with you on Sunday. Don't forget, it is your month of new things. Amen. What are new things? Jeremiah chapter 18. I read verses 1 to 6. What are new things? Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 to 6. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Verse 3. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a walk on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was mad in the hand of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make it. Wow. Verse 5. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? Say the Lord, Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. What are new things? New things are the products that emerge when God turns things around. New things are what happens when God transforms a situation from one state into another state. New things are the byproduct of the turnaround by the hand of God. New things are things that emerge. Things that happen. When something receives a turnaround by the mighty hand of God. So what are new things? New things are the product from the heart from the factory house of the potter. New things are what emerge from the potter's house. The product that emerge from the house or the factory house of the potter. Those are new things. In this month of September, we are going to dwell extensively on this Jeremiah chapter 18, verses 1 to 6. The Lord spoke to Jeremiah 
to go to the potter's house. Jeremiah got to the potter's house. He saw the potter using clay to create objects. The potter used the clay to, to mold objects. And all of a sudden, the object that the potter was molding with the clay, Bible says it became mad. M A W R U E D. To be mad is to be broken or to be spoiled. To be ruined, to be damaged, to be spoiled, to be ruined, to be damaged. The clay became mad in the hand of the potter. And so, the, the, the pot, the mold that the potter saw was not what was in his mind, was not what he made originally. So the potter came again with the pot or the mold and broke it down. He used the same pot that had been mad, the same mold that had been mad. The potter broke it down and remolded it into another better pot, into another better object. When the new pot emerged, people came and they said, wow. People were bewildered. They could not imagine how a better, very fine, beautiful pot could emerge from the from the mud and the ruin and the ugly and the and the shattered pot before. The pot before had been seen to be wasted, to be shattered, to be useless, to be obsolete, to be outdated. But by the time the potter remolded it. And I reshaped it and remolded it. The potter, when the potter came out from the potter's house, it became another wonderful, beautiful, glorious, grandeur pot. Different from the one that it was before. And then God spoke to Jeremiah, I am the potter. What the potter did with that potter can do with you. No matter your situation. I can make a better you. I can make a more glorious you. I can make a more beautiful you from the former ugly you, from the former ruined you, from the former shattered you. I can make another better, more beautiful, more glorious, more gl glorious person, identity from the former you. That was what God told Jeremiah. So listen to me. In this month of September, we are visiting the potter's house. This month of September is our, is our visitation to the potter's house. This month of September is our going to visit the potter and surrendering our life, our destiny, our marriage in the hand of the potter for a remodeling. The potter is not going to use another new creature, it is the same we. But it's going to use the we that have been mad to reproduce and recreate the we that became glorious and grandiose. That's what the potter is going to do. So, the best of you will come out from the worst of you in this month of September. That is the new thing that's going to happen. There is no situation that God cannot turn around. There is no situation that God cannot transform. There is no mad pot that God cannot recreate to be beautiful and grandiose. There is no hopeless situation with the Almighty. 
There is no helpless experience with the most high. He killed it and make it alive. He brought down and lifted up. He lifted up the beggar from the dust. And the poor from the don't heed. And set him among princes to sit upon the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he has set men upon them. What is too great for God to do? What is impossible for him to do? Nothing. Your case is simple in the hand of the Most High. Your case is easy before the Almighty. He knows you and know, he knows the challenges that you are passing through. Hear me? By the word of the Almighty God, in this month of September, I am carrying you to the Potter's house. God will transform the present challenges you are passing through. The ugly cases and the experiences you are passing through. In this month of September, God will transform them into testimonies and miracles for you. God will transform the worst of your life experiences to become the best before the 30th day of the month of September. That is the new thing that God wants to do. He said, behold, I do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. He will create rivers where waters have dried up. He will create an expressway in the forest where there had never been any way before. He will turn the darkest hour of a man's life into the brightest day of his life. He will rely the story of a man's life. That is what God will do for you in this month of September. That is the new thing that God is talking about. So we are visiting the Potter's house in this month of September. Is there any situation in your life you don't like? Is there any ugly experience you are passing through? Is there any shameful and reproachful experience you are passing through? Is there any experience that is beyond you? Is there any experience that is making you to give up? Is there any experience in your life that when you look at it, you become sad and sorrowful? Welcome to the potter's house. This is your month of new things. That same experience, creating sorrow and misery and sadness to you. God is not going to take anything from anywhere. That same situation in your life is what God is going to you as a raw material for the miracle, for the beauty, for the glory, for the honor that is coming along your way this month of September. Let me say this one as I pray together with you tonight. You remember the story of the ark in Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. That's verse 1. Verse 2, look at how the pot became mad in the hand of the potter. Verse 2, the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of the Lord was moving upon the face of the water. So the pot had been mad in the hand of the potter. The pot was made in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. When we came to verse 2, the pot became man in the hand of the potter. The earth was without form and void. The earth became formless. The earth became shapeless. The earth became empty. Darkness was upon the face of the deep. The earth became chaotic. The earth became gullied. Come on! That is the mad pot in the hand of the potter. In verse 3 of Genesis chapter 1, God carried the pot to the potter's house. 
The Almighty God carried the pot to the potter's house. And then God began to walk upon the pot in the potter's house. It is the same earth that was without form and void, that was covered by darkness, that was empty. God began to walk upon the pot in the potter's house from verse 3 of Genesis chapter 1. And the walking of God continues from Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 to verse 4 to verse 5 to verse 6 to verse 7 down and down and down. But then we come to verse 31 of Genesis chapter 1. And the Bible said, God behold everything that he has created. Behold, it was very good. The evening and the morning were the sixth day. So, after the pot visited the potter's house, a new earth emerged in the place of the former and the old earth that was without form and void. That former earth that was man in the hand that was man, that earth was, that was without form and void, that earth that was covered by darkness and, and, and deep, that same earth, after the pot has visited, after the pot has visited the potter's house, verse 31, Genesis chapter 1, the earth became beautiful. The earth became attractive. The earth became furnished. The earth became packaged. The earth became rich. The earth became prosperous. The earth became filled up. New things emerged from the former earth. A new earth, better, more glorious, more grandiose earth emerged from the better earth. That is where you are going this month of September. Amen. That is what God wants to do in your life this month of September. That experience that looks ugly in your hand. That situation that looks hopeless. That you don't know where, you, where to turn to. I am bringing you and carrying you to the potter's house this month of September. By the time we shall be arriving at the end of the month of September, that same art will become glorious and grandeur on your hand. Testimonies, strange miracles are coming out from the stubborn challenges and the hopeless experiences you are passing through. Out of your shame shall emerge glory. Out of your frustration shall emerge fulfillment. Out of your poverty shall emerge prosperity. Out of your sickness shall, shall emerge health. Out of your lack and want and need shall come abundance in this month of September. That is a new thing that God wants to do. That is a new thing that, 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 that God wants to do. You remember Ezekiel chapter 37. God carried Ezekiel to the valley of dry bones in Ezekiel chapter 37 from verse 1. The bones were dry, they were scattered. The bones were disjointed, they were fragmented, they were compartmentalized, they were shapeless, they were hopeless, they were ugly, they were useless, they were wasted. The bones, according to Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 1 and 2. By the time the bones visited the potter's house, from verses 3 to 10, in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37, just as you are right now in the potter's house, the word you are hearing now is, is, is you in the hand of the potter, in the potter's house. This ministration I am doing, the way you are listening to me now, the way you are hearing me now, you are in the potter's house. The word you are hearing now, you are in the hand of the potter. The potter is making you now by the word you are hearing. The potter is transforming you, transforming your situation now by the same word that you are hearing. By the time I finish tonight, the potter will have finished with you. By the time the bones came out from the potter's house. Verse 10 
Ezekiel chapter 37, the dry scatter bones became a great army. So, the great army is new things. The dry bones are old things, old or former things. Remember, ye you know the former things. Neither consider the things of old. The scattered dry bones are the former things or the old things. The great army in Ezekiel 37, verse 10, are the new things. The great army came from the dry scattered bones. So the new things must come from the old, ugly, hopeless, wretched experiences of your life. That's how God works. Every miracle that God does has a raw material. The raw material is the challenges you are passing through. The raw materials are the challenges you are passing through. The raw materials are the hopeless experiences of your life. If the raw materials are not available, there is nothing that God will work upon for your finished product. It is the raw material that are needed in the potter's house for the finished product to become a reality in your life. Therefore, every negative experience you are passing through, every impossible situation, difficult experience of your life, they are the raw materials. As long as the raw materials are available, and you are right now in the potter's house, by hearing the word of God that, that I'm speaking to you right now, you are in for a miracle. A miracle will resolve. New things will resolve. Great army will resolve from the valley of dry and scattered bones. A miracle is coming along your way right now. God is transforming your situation. God is causing a turn around in your experience. A new experience. A new experience. A new encounter. A miracle beyond human explanation and imagination is coming along your way from the hopeless experiences you are passing through right now. That is the new thing that God is up to do for you this month of September. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is what the psalmist was talking about. When the psalmist said, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. In Psalm 126, 1 to 3, then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with singing. Then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for them, whereof they are glad. The Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. That was what the psalmist is talking about. The captivity is the former things. The captivity is the old things. The way God turned around the captivity of Zion, new things emerge. It is that new thing that provoke laughter, that provoke dancing, that can provoke celebration, that make that the hidden son they say, Wow, the Lord has done great things for them. But it takes captivity to enter the potter's house and turn to celebration and dance and rejoicing. So your captivity in this month of September will turn like a dream. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we are like them that dream. Listen to me. There are miracles that will happen to you in this month of September that will look like a dream. There are breakthroughs that are coming along your way in this month of September that will look like a dream. It will look as if you are dreaming. It will look as if you are seeing a vision. Bible said in Acts of the Apostle chapter, chapter, chapter 12, from verses 10 to 11, that when Peter came out of the imprisonment house of Herod, he thought he had a vision. Peter was still thinking, am I dreaming? Is it true? Am I out? But yet, God has torn his captivity. The yoke of captivity had been broken. I conclude with you tonight to let you know that new things are coming along your way in this month of september by the grace of the almighty god god will turn your present experiences around god will turn the challenges of your life around better and more glorious things are coming out of the experiences that you are passing through right now as you are hearing me by the word of the lord from now you are in the potter's house in the place of the transformation of destiny. In the place where problems become raw materials for miracle. In the place where challenges become raw materials for celebration. In the place where captivity become raw materials for a turnaround. 
In the place where weeping and crying become raw material for laughter and dancing. In the place where poverty become raw material for prosperity. In the place where shame and disgrace become raw material for glory and honor. Welcome to the potter's house. It is your season for new things. And listen to me. Every event full of God is provoked by warfare. If you cannot provoke it by force, you will not see it coming to pass in the affairs of your life. You need to provoke the doings of God. You need to provoke the miracles of God for a performance and manifestation in your life. I'd like you to rise your feet. Rise your feet. I'd like you to begin to say, God, thank you. This is my month of new things. This is my encounter with new things. This is my season of new things. I believe what you have said. I am greatly expectant. I am in the potter's house. I am right here before my miracle. My miracle is a reality. Lord, thank you. I will not miss my miracle in the potter's house. Lord, thank you. I am ripe for my new things. I am overdue for my new things. Lord, I come to claim my new things right now. Go ahead and begin to talk to God like that. Begin to, begin to thank God for tonight. Begin to say, God, thank you. Begin to say, God, thank you. I am right here before the potter's house. I am right here before the potter's house. I am right here before the potter's house. Lord, thank you for the new things that you have destined for me this month of September. Lord, thank you for the new things that you have destined for me this month of September. Lord, thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I want to assure you, as many as are here, to give your life to Jesus, that this is your right season. Uh, the month of September is our month of new things. Bible said, he that is in Christ is a new creature. New things begin when you are in Christ. New things begin when you found yourself in our Lord Jesus Christ. If you are still living in sin, and you are here to surrender your life to Jesus, why don't you say these prayers just shortly after me? Say, Lord Jesus, you are my Lord and my personal Savior. I am expecting new things in this month of September. Then make my life new now. Change my life. Make me your son. I accept Jesus as my Lord and my personal Savior. I believe he came into this world and died for me on the cross of Calvary. I surrender my life to Jesus. Jesus, come into my life. Save me. Write my name in the book of life. I promise to serve you from now on to the end of my life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, thank you for your children who have surrendered their life to Christ now. Lord, enter to their life. Change them. Let the seed of eternal life be planted in them. Lord God, Jehovah, change their life. Let them become your own. Write their name in the book of life. They will not drop back to perdition. They will start to deceive their souls. Thank you for saving them. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Now pray these prayers. One, one minute. Let's pray these two, three prayers. One, one minute. After me, everybody. Prayer number one. Oh God, use unconventional weapons to fight for me this month of September. Win battles for me that I did not fight. Win battles for me that I did not fight. Use unconventional weapons to fight my battle for me this month of September. If you love yourself, open your mouth and cry to God like that now. Father God, thank you. Lord, we ask that you will use unconventional weapons to fight our battle for us in this month of September. Oh God, by your intervention, we battle for us that we didn't fight. Fight our battle in your own way. Fight it in your own method. Fight it with your formula. Win battles for us in this month of September that we didn't fight. Hey, the way Moses prayed. Do a new thing. Use a new method. A new formula. A new strategy.
to fight and win the battle of our life in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The way you need a new team to fight for Moses against God, Adam, and Abiram. Do a new thing to fight for us in this month of September. Do a new thing to fight our battles in this month of September. Do a new thing to silence all our critics, all our enemies, all our mockers, all those that are reproaching us, castigating us. Silence them in your way in this month of September. Use your conventional weapon to arise and fight our battles for us in this month of September, Lord. No. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I like you to talk to God. I like you to say, Oh God, transform the present situations and challenges that I am passing through into a miracle for me this month of September. Go ahead and talk to God like that. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am asking that you will transform the, our present situations, our present challenges, the situations, the challenges the hopeless and the helpless experiences that we are passing through, Lord God Jehovah, transform them around and let miracles appear. Let testimonies, let victories appear from the stubborn challenges and the hopeless experiences that we are passing through in this month of September. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, transform our, transform our challenges. Transform every hopeless and helpless experience into miracles and testimonies for us in this month of September. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 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 I want you to talk to God. Lord, Lord, turn my life around for the better. In this month of September. Turn my life around for the better. Turn my experiences around for the better. Turn my situations around for the better. Turn my challenges around for the better. Turn the reality facing me around for the better in this month of September. Go ahead and talk to God like that. Lord God Jehovah, in the mighty name of Jehovah Christ of Nazareth, turn our experiences, our challenges, our realities, situations facing us, turn them around for the better. In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 Turn our experiences, our challenges around for the better. Finally, I want you to talk to God. Oh God, take me to the potter's house in this month of September. Turn my unpleasant and hopeless experiences into miracles and testimony. Carry me to the potter's house in this month of September. Hey, that pot that has been manned, every area of my life that has been ruined, every area of my life that has been wasted, every area of my life that, has, that, has, that is bad, every area of my life that has been tampered with, Every area of my life that is ruined. Every area of my life that, is, that I've been tampered with. Every area of my life that is mad. Carry me to the potter's house in this month of September, Lord. Carry me to the potter's house. Lord, turn every unpleasant, hopeless experiences. Turn the challenges and pass it through into a miracle and a testimony in this month of September, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Turn my barrenness to fruitfulness in this month of September. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn my poverty to prosperity in this month of September. Turn my failure to success in this month of September. Turn my hopelessness into miracle and testimony in this month of September. Turn every ugly experience, every shame, disgrace and reproach are passing through. Turn them to glory and honor. Turn them to testimony in this month of September. Bible say when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, who are like them like dream. Oh God, in this month of September, turn my captivity around. Turn my captivity around. Give me a miracle that looks like a dream. Give me a miracle that looks like a dream. Give me a miracle that looks like a dream. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Place your two hands upon your head as I pray for you. Father God, thank you. As all my viewers and my children place their two hands upon their head, I carry them to a butter's house. All of you whose hands are upon your head right now, I carry you to the potter's house in this month of September. Every area of your life that is mad, every area of your life that is broken, every area of your life that is chiseled, every area of your life that is ruined, every area of your life that has been tampered with negatively, every area of your life that is unpleasant, every area of your life that is sick, every area of your life that is deformed, every area of your life that is ruined, Every area of your land that the enemy has shot arrows 
I carry you to the potter's house. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command a new you to emerge. A new experience to emerge for you. A miracle to emerge for you. Signs and wonders to emerge for you. Breakthroughs to emerge for you. Turn around to emerge from you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As the potter removed a new pot from the mad pot, let God remove you. Let God recreate you. Let God bring miracle testimony, signs and wonders. Beauty and glory and honor. Glory and testimony out of the former you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree that God will use some conventional weapons to fight for you this month of September. You will win battles without fighting. You will see victory without fighting. You will see turn around and breakthrough without fighting. You will see new experience and a new encounter without fighting. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will turn your story around. Turn your situation around. And give you the miracle, miracle that you are believing God for. By the grace of the Almighty God, I prophesy. God said, Behold, I do a new thing. In this month of September, new things by the act of God will emerge from your life. He said, Behold, I make all things new. God will make all things new in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The former things have passed away. The old things have passed away. New things will emerge from your life. Receive a miracle. Receive divine intervention. Go to the potter's house. Come out a new person. Come out a brand new person. Come out with, with strange miracles. Or common manifestation. Or common deliverances and breakthroughs. In the mighty name of Jesus. And let it be well with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I, I like you to lift up the offering. So a seed of new things tonight. So a seed of new things. Transfer the seed into the account. Just so a seed of new things. So a seed of new things. Father God, thank you for your children. I am asking that your seed, your sacrifice will attract heaven's attention. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This seed will move heaven. The almighty God will use the seed. To open the door for a turn around. To open the door for a new chapter. To open the door for a new version. To open the door for a new experience. In the affairs of your life. The seed will speak for you. And we argue for you. Receive your miracle. Your seed shall fall into fertile ground. And we bring forth fruit for you. In hundreds and thousands and millions. It shall be well with you. Thank you dear Lord. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. Amen. Join me on Sunday. What are new things? Part two. I show you two today. I'm going to show you one or two again on Sunday. What are new things? Part two. Sunday is going to be unmistakable encounter with new things. Part two. You will encounter new things. Part two on Sunday. Share it. Love it. Connect to your contacts. Invite them. 9:45 a.m. Sunday morning. Join me on this same platform. By exactly 10, I'll begin to minister. We, you just wash it off for about some few minutes. By exactly 10, I'll start ministry from, ministry from 10, to 11, 10 to 11. You will not miss your new thing in this month of September. This weekend shall be a weekend of new things for you. Shall be a weekend of good news. A weekend of new things. You will celebrate this weekend. You will hear good news. You will share testimony. When you, are, when you stand here on Sunday to meet me on this broker, you will call with testimonies that are strange, testimonies that are not common. It shall be well with you. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost abide with all of you. Keep you strong, strong and strong. You are covered by the blood of Jesus. Have a splendid and pleasant weekend. Let it be a weekend of good news, a weekend of glad tidings. Go into this weekend and prosper. It shall be well with you. Have sweet and very sound sleep tonight. I rebuke nightmares. I rebuke bad dreams. I rebuke the arrow of death. I rebuke the arrow of infirmity. I receive sound head for you. I receive long life for you. I receive good news for you. It shall be well with you. Thank you, dear Lord. In Jesus' mighty and victorious name we are praying. Amen. 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 Have a pleasant weekend in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you for watching. The Lord bless you. I hope you have been richly blessed by this message. The Lord will keep blessing you for prayers and counseling. Call those numbers on the screen or visit us on our website 
for more information and we shall get back to you. If you have not made the Lord the Savior of your life, pray these prayers after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my personal Savior. I promise to serve you from now on to the end of my life. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will, the Lord will bless you. Follow us on our social media hand, uh, handles and you will get more information about us and have access to our messages. Till I meet you on this same channel next time, God bless you. Thank you for watching. The Lord bless you. I hope you have been richly blessed by this message. The Lord will keep blessing you. For prayers and counseling, call those numbers on the screen or visit us on our website for more information and we shall get back to you. If you have no